The Bay of Couture is dotted with churches, beaches, and fortified towns. Visitors flock to these towns to enjoy nice weather year-round. In fact, the country of Montenegro hosts almost triple the amount of visitors than its own population each year. Along the coastline in the town of Zelenica, the Adventist Church has operated a summer camp for many years. Ilya was one of the first Adventists to pioneer this area. He remembers the challenges of the early days. The work was organized here. It started somewhere in the 40s of the last century. The work was met with great resistance by the communist government, which then, immediately after the Second World War, operated in these areas. So the brothers and sisters who gathered in the houses had a lot of problems. They were forbidden to gather. When the laws loosened a bit and the people relaxed a bit, religious services were held in homes and had to be reported. Eventually, the church bought this building here. After only one Friday night service, the property was confiscated and held by local authorities. Adventist leaders found another property where they started youth camps in the summer, a risky move at a time when it wasn't allowed. Danilo, who is now the local pastor in Zelenica, remembers attending the camps as a kid and the influence they had on his decision to live a life of ministry. On this field, uh, like 28 years ago, started youth camps. There are a bunch of tents around, a uh, place for worship, singing, and studying Bible together. For a number of years, this was the, the place where youth camps held. Almost 35 years later, the church managed to regain ownership of their original property. So when communism was overthrown, it was a change of government here in Montenegro. And not long after that, we got back this building that was taken from us. The existing building on the property has been a venue where youth and children's summer camps and mission camps have been organized for decades. This is where many youth have given their hearts to Jesus and been baptized in the nearby sea. But the building, being almost 90 years old, is rapidly deteriorating. It has been patched many times over the years, but has now reached a state beyond restoration. Considering updated health and safety standards, tearing down the existing building and creating a new structure is the best option. This quarter, a portion of your 13th Sabbath offering will help restore this property. As a people of vision, we are looking forward and we are praying for the new building which can serve not only in this area, but youth and adults all over our union and our division all year around. In addition to continuing youth camps, the new structure can be rented to outside groups to provide funds to make it self-sufficient. Adventists want to transform it into a center of influence where they can meet the needs of their community. Please pray for this project in Montenegro. Pray that these plans will touch the hearts of this community. Thank you for supporting 13 Sabbath offering projects like this. On the street outside an Adventist church in Riga, Latvia, pedestrians often stop by a bookhouse alongside the walkway. This small house contains a variety of free literature. Armands, who's once pastored this church and is now retired, makes sure that inventory stays stocked for local residents to enjoy. About a third of Latvia's population lives here in the capital city. The Historical Center is a UNESCO World Heritage Site noted for its architecture. In Riga, Adventists aren't afraid to try creative approaches to ministry, such as their book house. Valdis is a church member who uses his health food store as a place of connection with his community. 
Our goal for uh, for Daba Stacia, that's the name of our business, it's like nature station, is uh, to be a bridge, bridge between uh, the street and the church. It's uh, very hard now in the secular country to, to go on the street and invite people to some events, to church or some concerts, but if you have connection with customers uh, and they little trust you then they listen more and uh, they see that just because you are from church you want them to bring in the church uh, they see that you wish them well good health each year this store participates in a large vegan festival held in riga i have seen how god use a shop to bring some people closer to church in the last festival for example i told our business our shop together with Adventist Church in this place. Adventist Church gives place and we organize this seminar. Would you be interested? Yes, I would be interested. And we get many contacts. Once people make contact with the church, they are invited to join a small group. This is an important aspect of growth within this community. Small groups uh, can do what uh, big church uh, gatherings can do. Uh, and I believe that we need uh, big worship gatherings and small gatherings in home where people can, can uh, get in some deeper level in, uh, in closer relationships. Zane's marriage was falling apart. She and her husband decided it was best to separate. Feeling overwhelmed, Zane looked online for a church in Riga and found the Adventist Church. The members encouraged her to join a small group. The first time she attended, she sat at a table between total strangers, but felt so accepted and loved that after some time she shared her problems with them, and they lovingly offered to pray for her. Over time, she started to understand her husband better and recognized good qualities in him. This group helped her on her journey to forgiveness. After much prayer and Bible study, Zane was baptized. Now her family is back together and they are grateful to the small group that prayed for them. Thanks to the Adventist Church's presence in various forms, others have found community and healing through these small groups. This quarter, a portion of your 13th Sabbath offering will create a new urban center of influence to work together with the health food store in Riga. And uh, I envision that if, for example, uh, we would have some place we, where we could, could combine uh, maybe small shops, some small cafe, small place with books and a sofa, a very good atmosphere also with some advertisements of our seminars and uh, health events. It would be much easier to get people uh, to these events. Please pray for this Urban Center of Influence project in Latvia. Thank you for supporting this special offering.